Hey everyone, this is Greg Finn, Camel River Guide Service here on Lake Sam Rayburn in Deep East Texas. Today I want to talk to you about something that can be a little bit aggravating, and that's backing the boat trailer down the boat ramp. So today I want to teach you how to back a boat trailer down a boat ramp. And you know as well as I do, there's a lot of aggravation goes in with that. A lot of times you'll be at a boat ramp and you'll see someone just screaming at someone, no left, no right. And the problem is the person who's driving never was taught properly how to back a trailer down a boat ramp. So today we're going to do that. We're going to describe in detail how to do it. Now to do it, you got to open, have an open mind. And if you listen to this video, you'll be able to back anything all the way to here to New York City. So I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I hope it helps you to get that boat down a boat ramp so that you can go out and have a good time fishing. Now here's an excellent example of a lady that's backing the boat trailer down the boat ramp. Her husband is out in a boat, in a bass boat, and fixing a load up onto the trailer. And notice how she's being very slow, very careful, and she's going right down. She's got that boat trailer lined up right between the rocks. She's easing it down. She's not in a hurry. She's making sure her trailer is straight. And he's got his boat lined up and now you see her making a small adjustment and this is what you want to see you, you want to see someone who can help you and there it goes into the water and now he's fixing to bring that boat right up there onto the trailer what a fantastic job see when someone says they cannot back a trailer down a boat ramp they just haven't been taught but here you see a good example of someone It's a good team effort between a husband and a wife. He's got it lined up on the boat. And now all that's left to do is to shove the boat right up on the trailer. And now she's going to pull him out very slowly, no jerking. Perfect example of how to back a trailer down a boat ramp and to load the, the boat properly okay or so are you ready to learn we're going to approach the boat ramp and the first thing you need to know is to drive all the way down as far as you can pick out a boat ramp we're going to pick out the same one that they just did if you see it there so it's the second one to the left we're going to swing the truck right around all the way to the end then we're going to turn the wheel and what we're going to try to do is go up the ramp and get the trailer as straight on the lane as possible before we even start out pull up pull up pull up there now that's where we're going to go into the water right down that lane so this is where you need to turn the wheel toward the mirror to get the boat out of the mirror. So I have too much boat on the left mirror. I have none on the right mirror. So when you're backing up and we just put it in reverse, gently turn the wheel toward the left to, to get the mirror, to get the boat out of that mirror. That's all you gotta do. That's all you have to remember. If there's too much boat if there's too much boat in the mirror, turn toward the mirror. Now see how we have that boat going right down the rocks, the middle of the rocks, down the boat ramp with about the same amount of rocks on the side. We're going right down the boat ramp. We're keeping it nice and straight. I'm going to turn the wheel just a little bit more. And now we keep it nice and straight. And we're going straight into the water. And all I'm doing is watching my left and my right mirror. I won't take this time to explain. Do not look at this rear view mirror. Forget about it. Look at the right mirror and look at the left mirror. Those are the only two mirrors we need to look at. And then as you're going down, you'll probably want to put the boat 
where the water comes up to about the top of the fender and then stop. You'll understand as you go along a little later how far your trailer needs to be in the water for your boat to load property. So now let's pull it back out again. And this time I'm going to assume that I'm in here all cattywampus and cockeyed for whatever reason. And now notice I'm going to start backing up and I need to put that wheel about a foot off of those rocks. So as I back up, now if, there, if there's too much on purpose now, I'm going to put too much trailer over here on this mirror. Now if you were in this situation, what would you do? You got too much trailer, you're fixing to jackknife it. The only thing you need to remember is to turn your steering wheel toward the mirror that has too much boat in it. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to turn this steering wheel rather hard. Now notice how it just straightens right on up. See how you get it to turn? Always remember, turn your steering wheel toward the mirror that has too much boat in it. That's all you got to remember. If you remember that, you can back a trailer up anywhere you want to. Now, see, I don't have the I don't have the boat exactly lined up on the lane, so I'm going to turn it and let it have a little bit more get to straighten it out. There it is. Now, I don't want to just keep going, so I'm going to turn the wheel to the right and straighten that boat straight up and see how we come back in there look at a little bit too much boat on this side so I'm gonna turn the wheel to the left to, to the mirror that has too much boat in it constantly working it back and forth the only thing you need to remember is turn the steering wheel toward the mirror that has too much boat in it And that's all there is to this. It's not rocket science. The next time you have someone with you, don't scream and holler at them and cuss them out and why don't you know how to do this? You know what? They've never been taught. This is part of the fishing experience. Help them to understand how to learn how to do something. Now you've taught them and they're going to look forward to doing it. Let me get the truck for you and they'll run up to the boat uh, up the boat ramp, get the truck, bring the boat trailer down into the water so that you can load it up. And that's going to make life a lot easier. So I hope this video helps you and will help those who go with you to enjoy the fishing experience a little bit more. Do what my dad did. Take your family fishing. It's a great way to enjoy the great outdoors.